Welcome to the Automatic Captions and Caption Editing webinar presented by Ensemble Video. My name is Scott Nads and I'll be hosting this webinar. A couple housekeeping notes. You should have been muted to reduce unnecessary background noise and I ask that you chat, use the chat window to submit your questions for today's webinar. As you know, Ensemble Video is an online video platform designed to simplify video capture, video management, and video delivery. I will not be discussing this platform in depth, but I do provide some context. Ensemble Video is where you're going to be uploading, managing, searching, publishing, and reporting. We do offer an app on Android and iPhones. It's called Ensemble Live. It's free. We have a screen capture tool called Ensemble Anthem. Ensemble Anthem allows you to capture your screen with voice, screen with voice and webcam, webcam only, and voice only. We also support live streaming and the recording of live streams. And some of you may know, we recently released Ensemble Studio, which allows you to do scheduled capture, ad hoc captures, and live streaming with our encoders. We'll have more news about this this fall. So let's get to the task at hand. And before we get into the live demo, I thought it would be a good idea to explore some of the reasons you should caption your videos. First, we want to make sure that you make your video accessible to a wider audience. While it's fairly obvious that closed captions can help you reach customers and clients that are deaf or hard of hearing, they also help you extend your reach in other ways. Anyone who clicks on your video in a setting where audio is limited, such as work or in a library, can still access your message if you have closed captioning enabled. We would also argue that you can increase engagement and retention if you're closed captioning your videos. Many times viewers can't understand what you're saying in your video because you're speaking too fast or perhaps you have an accent. So adding captions to your videos will enable viewers to read what you have to say and hopefully increase engagement. And this will hopefully result in more retention and a return on investment for your video efforts. Here at Ensemble Video, we also think you look more professional when you close caption your videos. In many fields, close captioning is now expected. So if, professionals, if potential students, clients, and customers happen to notice that your video does not have closed captioning, they may be likely to view your organization as less professional. And in many cases, whether you know it or not, you're required by law to add closed captioning to your online videos. Specifically, if you have students that are deaf or hard of hearing, or if you're in a state with specific legislation. And finally, Ensemble Video makes captioning easy and affordable. Ensemble Video has tried to do its best to make this process very, very simple and so that you're not overspending on captioning your content. Uh, so today we're going to learn how to automatically create captions. And then after the automatic captions are created, you're going to be able to edit them in our integrated caption editor to make all your content accessible and searchable. We will also quickly discuss our closed captioning partners. So in our demo, we're going to talk about different settings here. And one of the first things that I get I want to talk about is the automatic caption settings. Our integrated speech to text technology allows you to easily add granular settings or more nuclear settings for this feature. For example, you can select video by video and enable automatic captioning. So I can pick one video one by one and submit that for captioning. Or I can turn on a setting that says every single video in this library gets automatically captioned. The more nuclear options allow you to set settings at the organizational or institutional level. So if I want every single video in an organization, an ensemble video, to be captioned, I can do that. Additionally, I do have the ability to enable automatic captioning by for an entire institution. We also have a great closed caption editor. So after your automatic caption captions are processed, you can use Ensemble Video's closed caption editor to make cleaner caption files. This costs zero dollars per minute. Some of you may know about our display and search inside video feature. Our search inside video feature saves viewers precious time by enabling them to search captions and jump directly to points of interest in your videos. We also offer settings to always display captions, or you can let the user toggle the captions on and off. One of the less known features is the multi-device display and styling 
feature. Administrators can design the caption styles to meet their needs of their viewers. For example, you can see you can increase the font size, the text color of the captions, or the font opacity. Now, of course, we know there are a variety of factors when you're choosing closed captioning services. Um, here are a few that we wanted to discuss today. First of all, you can choose different services. So Ensemble Captions is the very first row in this table, and you can see there's a few different things that we're going to present to you. First of all, let's start at the left. The starting price uh, for a purchase for, of Ensemble Captions is $3 an hour, or $0.05 cents a minute. The more hours you buy, the lower that price will go. And one of the nice things about Ensemble Captions is the turnaround time. Typically, you will get captions in minutes or hours. For example, I just uploaded a 30-minute lecture earlier this morning, and it came back in about six minutes. Now, we also integrate with closed captioning services like Caption Sync, 3Play Media, Rev, and Caption X. Uh, they each have different price per hour, price per minute, and turnaround times. Um, the more premium services, we would argue, are Caption Sync and 3Play Media. Those are likely going to be right around $150 an hour, depending on your volume, and your turnaround time is going to be two to three days. We also have closed captioning partners, Rev and Caption X. They are going to be $60 an hour or a dollar a minute. So those are some of the major factors in terms of price and turnaround time. Now, digging a little bit deeper into Ensemble Captions pricing, uh, you can see the pricing ladder here. So on the left, you have the number of hours. There is a 10-hour trial that you can get for $50. Um, after that, you're going to get a much better price on these captions. Um, so if we look at the $300 level, that's going to be $900 or about five cents a minute. Um, as you can see, uh, we have levels that go all the way up to 10,000 hours. Again, our goal here is to make automatic captioning as affordable as possible. And also I should mention that uh, this is not a use it or lose it type feature. Uh, so this is more like uh, filling up your car with gasoline and as soon as you run out, you can fill it back up. And finally, we recognize there's a lot of pros and cons to leveraging automatic captions versus high-end captioning services. So I'd be doing a disservice if, if I did not mention some of these pros and cons. So we know by that pricing table that automatic captions are very, very inexpensive. So that five cents per minute or lower is, is much, much less compared to the premium captioning services. One of the other things we were able to observe is the faster processing time. Uh, and our customers that are already using automatic captions are definitely commenting on the speedy processing time, which can be handy. Now, one of the issues where you will get some variety is the accuracy is going to be based on the audio quality and the speaker. Um, so there are times we will see extremely accurate automatic captions being generated. And then depending on the cleanliness of the audio, the speaker, how fast they speak, or do they have an accent, you might have a little bit lower accuracy. Now, we also recognize automatic captions aren't going to be 100% accurate, but we would also argue that we don't want you to hold back and not pay for the premium services. So this automatic captioning effort in Ensemble Video is here to help you do something uh, rather than nothing. So we really want to make sure that we're providing a value-based service uh, at an affordable price so that at least you can get captioning done um, without having to pay those premiums. And finally, we would argue it allows you to minimally meet your legal obligations. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, you're going to get captioning services, and some of the comments from our customers are they are very expensive. So when you're paying a dollar, um, a dollar an hour, two dollars and fifty cents an hour or more, um, that turns into a significant price tag, especially if you're recording long-form content. One of the positives with captioning services is they handle multiple speakers and more complicated uh, captioning scenarios, uh, much better than the automatic captions were. So if you're doing a lot of panel discussions, that might be a better time to use a premium caption service. Uh, one of the things we did see in our comparison table is they will have a slower processing time. Uh, you will never see the caption services 
that are doing it with people going to be as fast as they are automatic caption service. One of the great things about the captioning services and our partners is they will offer consistently high accuracy levels. And these captioning services are really in business to allow you to meet your legal obligations. So those are some very quick pros and cons. Obviously, we can discuss more if we needed to, uh, but I did want to pause and see if there were any questions. And if there are no questions, we're going to jump into the live demo. Do I have any questions? Going once, going twice, okay, three times. I'll continue to ask if we have questions. So let's jump into Ensemble Video. So now we are in the Ensemble Video interface. Uh, we're gonna look at a few different things here. First of all, I wanna to kind of go back and look at those administrative options. If you wanna turn on captioning at the institutional level, the organizational level, or the library level. So if I'm an administrator, and I want to go in and say, first of all, for my institution, my entire university, my entire business, if I go into the settings of the institution, notice I do have an auto caption setting. And if I check this box, I will automatically caption all the media added into this institution. If I go into my organization, I can look at the business school, let's say my organization, and go to edit and say, I want to auto caption all my media added to the business school organization. Again, these are off by default. And finally, I can go into a library and we'll look at my friend, Professor Bryant. And in this library, I could say, please auto caption everything in the Professor Bryant media library. So those are more administrative settings. Um, today, you are gonna see me upload two different types of video. And then what I'm gonna do is have those auto captioned one by one. So those settings are not enabled. Let's upload a video. Just a quick teaser, we do have some custom metadata coming in the next version, which will be in October or November. I'm gonna come in here and upload a video. I'm going to upload the growing demand for engineering talent. And I'm going to hit start upload. Now, if you're observant, notice I do have an auto caption checkbox there. I could have checked, I want to auto caption this. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I can come in here and hit continue and hit publish. And now I have a video and ensemble video. So that's one video inside of ensemble video. Of course, I did show you, you could check a box and have it auto caption. Um, I do want you to know there are a couple other places that you're going to be able to submit this caption, um, but let's see if my thumbnail is processed, and it is. So Ensemble Video did a great job of processing the video. Let's go into the edit area. Let's go to my caption tab. And notice I also have a nice button here where I can submit my video for automatic captioning. So let's do that. In this case, this is where you're gonna get some of our statuses. So you're gonna get new, you're gonna get initialized, you're gonna get processed, and then you're gonna get ready. Um, keep in mind, we're gonna go over the Amara Caption Editor here in the next few minutes. If you were to use one of our closed captioning partners, you could submit files to closed captioning partners in this tab. And of course, you, you can still upload caption files. But in this case, we're gonna be focusing on automatic captioning. So we'll let that process. Um, in my experience, this short file, this one minute file, usually will be processed in one to three minutes. And as you can see, this is more of a um, course lecture or a guest speaker at a university. Um, this is a typical camera on a tripod with a wireless mic. The audio quality is pretty good. Now what I wanna do, is change it up and upload a different type of video and have that automatically captioned. So let's use our screen capture tool called Ensemble Anthem. I'm gonna hit the record button. And now I'm just gonna record my screen, screen in voice. As you know, you can choose full screen or select an area on your screen if you've seen Ensemble Anthem. And now I'm going to do a very quick recording in Ensemble Anthem. If you remember, 
I've used these two buttons, the add and record button. This is where my bulk uploading options are. I also can search my media library in Ensemble Video. And I'm going to hit done and done. And I'm going to upload this video into Ensemble Video. So now we've just created a very short screen recording in Ensemble Anthem. As you can see here, I can trim my video, chop sections of the video out. I could add titles or credits. I'm going to hit done. And hit upload. So this file will be quickly uploaded into Ensemble Video. And I am now going to have the opportunity to automatically caption this video once it is in Ensemble Video. Let's refresh. And you can see my screen capture in webinar is processing. Now we can do a couple things here. I'm going to go into the edit area and go back into the caption area. You can check the status. And this is still processing. Um, so we'll give that a couple more minutes. While we're waiting for the caption files to process, does anyone have any questions? Okay, let's refresh. And we're still going to wait a second here. Um, another nice feature inside of Ensemble Video while we're waiting is, of course, there are going to be reporting um, tools associated with captioning. So in the reporting area, there is now a automatic captions report. So you're going to be able to go into and check on who is submitting caption requests. So here you're going to see um, Professor Brian has been submitting captioning requests. Additionally, if I go into my institution and my automatic captions, you are going to see how much of the caption hours you have used, and there is a notification threshold. So if I want to have my notification threshold set to 25%, this is where I would change it so that when I am running out of captioning hours, I will get a notification. Okay, so now you can see my automatic, my auto caption webinar, uh, and I have a closed caption icon here. So let's do a very quick preview of what has been generated. I'm going to turn the captions on by default in my permalink, and let's view the permalink. And hit play. Now, I know you're not going to be able to hear the speaker, but you should be able to see the captions right away. Okay, here we go. Uh, quick quiz. So, there is an error in this caption. And I want to see if anybody knows what it is. And it says, that's involved to follow Bohr's Law. Does anybody have a guess of what we should be correcting on this caption track right here? And then I will certainly answer um, some of the questions that have just come in. Okay, well, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. We'll go fix it here. And... Another common issue in this caption track is um, this one right here. This gentleman is actually not talking about a coffee machine. He is talking about a person named Hoff Fagin. So we can go fix that. Um, now, lastly, I should show you that you can search uh, the caption track. So if I wanted to search engineer, you're going to see the references to engineers. And I can jump to that point in time in the video. So I did see a couple errors in there, so let's go fix those up. I can go into Edit and Caption, and I can go to my Amara Caption Editor, and I'm going to launch the Amara Editor. What this is going to allow me to do is have a, have a very easy-to-use editing interface for my captioning uh, track. You can see here that this is the one area I wanted to fix up, and this is talking about the engineering effort involved to follow Moore's law, Gordon Moore, that is. Also, um, you're going to see little exclamation points. It's going to try to 
teach you how to caption properly. In some cases, you can't change it, uh, meaning it's just going to be the speaker is going too fast. Um, but you do have the ability um, to extend things so we can fix that. And you can see I just fixed that. Now the other um, error I did see was a coffee machine. And this really should say Hoff Fagine. Okay, so there are a few more errors in here, of course, I could go fix up, but I really am just trying to demonstrate this for you. When I hit publish, what's gonna happen is this caption track is now gonna go back into Ensemble Video and it's gonna get cleaned up. Let's go and refresh my video. And let's see, by the search, first of all, if I can search for more Moore's Law, you can see it right there. So that was cleaned up. There that is. And also I could search for um, Fagine. There it is. And that was cleaned up. So you get the idea how easy it is, first of all, to submit files, and then of course how to clean up files. So that is the basics of um the caption creation and editing and the next piece i do i want to show you is just uh you know the alternate type of video that i uploaded and i believe i submitted it and of course i didn't sorry so i'm gonna have to submit that but we do have a question so i just submitted the automatic captioning request for my screen capture and we do have a question which i will ask so uh this might be getting ahead of things how does billing work just thinking about a university environment good question so I think there's a couple ways you can deal with this uh, we certainly are going to accept POs on this uh, so you can submit a PO and again if we look at the pricing um, you're gonna you know buy into a specific level typically um, so you know we can send you a quote for $900 and you can send us a PO if you prefer or um, if you go to our website ensemble video we do have an order area and in this area, there is a radio button you can select for automatic captioning, and you could certainly pay by credit card. Now, I know there's limits on specific credit cards, so you might not be able to go over the 4,500, but you certainly can come in here and do the 10 hour trial if you want to, or the 300 hour uh, option. And uh, since we've been doing these webinars, we've certainly had a lot of people sign up. It's really exciting. Um, so what happens after you sign up is in two days, you'll get your license key. Um, there's just a little bit of processing time. And then what that will do is get added to your cloud system, or of course we would send it to you for your self-hosted system and your automatic captioning would be turned on. And finally, you then can give permissions to specific users. So while we're waiting for this caption track to be created, I can go to the administration area and go into users. And what I wanna demonstrate now is that I can give somebody named Casey Hickey here, let's say permissions, and I am gonna be able to choose what types of permissions this person will have. So I can give him you know, the ability to manage captions, I can give him the ability to submit captions, things like that. So um, of course my demo environment wants to be a little pokey right now, which is um, happens here and there through my demos. Um, but you can kind of come in here and see that I could add a specific permission. And of course I'm on ensemble anthem, sorry. Um, to this. So actually he already has the permission, that's why it's not showing up. So this person has the ability to manage automatic captions. Okay, let's go check out this status of my caption track. So this is still processing. Um, I'm gonna go check out the chat window, see if there are any um, questions. Right, so I just got a question. Uh, so can it be locked down to the library level? Yes, through the permissioning area, it can. you can basically say only this library, everything gets captioned, or you can only give a specific user in a library. So it really wouldn't be locked down to a library, it would be locked down to a user in a library. And um, the 10 hour trial is a one-time option. So for universities that set this up, they get that one 10 hour trial, and then after that, they're gonna have to um, commit to a higher level. And the caption track has been processed. So in the next say 30 seconds, we're gonna get another caption track on here. And I always like to show the screen capture example because uh, I know I am a fast talker and um, it's always interesting to see 
um, if these types of technologies can keep up with me. Um, and in many cases, it actually does a pretty good job. So today I am also recording this webinar and I will be automatically captioning this webinar and sending it out. Um, I, of course, will spend time cleaning it up. Um, but in the next few seconds, we should see the closed captioning track here. And let's see if we have another question. Good question. So Lauren just asked, um, what I'm wondering is can users purchase their own hours and apply to their libraries or is it a shared pool by the Ensemble account owner? So right now it is more a shared pool. So your, um, your institution is going to get a specific minute, um, a certain amount of minutes. Um, I know since we've released this, we have had feature requests to say give quotas to libraries or users. So, uh, for example, Professor Bryant would have 20 hours and then Professor Smith would have 20 hours. Um, we did not implement that just yet, but that has been one of the most common feature requests. So I anticipate in the future um, we will likely be adding some sort of quota. Um, and if we don't, it usually just means that their API uh, of our partner does not she does not support that, um, so we'll have to experiment and evaluate that feature. And as you can see on screen, I just refreshed and I do have a closed captioning icon, it means I can preview this. And let's check out this screen capture. Okay, so and now I'm going to do a very quick recording in Ensemble Anthem. I'll tell you one of the most common uh, issues that I've seen, just because I say this word a lot, is Ensemble. It struggles with the word Ensemble. That was 100% accurate. That was accurate. And again, in ensemble video. So there's a few things I need to clean up, but you can see it does a very good job at um, captioning me. So that is a very quick overview on the automatic captions and caption editing. Does anyone have any other questions? Well, if you happen to have questions, um, one thing you can do is obviously reach out to me at scott at ensemblevideo.com. I just put that in the chat window, and I know I've been uh, pinging you with reminder emails. Or you could call me at 315-753-0094, and I'm happy to discuss any of your questions. All right, everyone. Well, sounds like it's time for me to sign off. Um, I hope that you found this useful and informative. I will be reaching out uh, with the recorded webinar. Uh, hope you have a great weekend. Have a great day. Bye-bye.